Hello, my name is Giacomo Rubisutti from the University of Udine and today I will talk about the basic equipment and operation in electric arc furnace. The EAFs are used to produce carbon steels and alloy steels primarily by recycling ferrous scrap using electricity to melt the steel to the graphite electrode. But this furnace system requires basic equipment and operation to reach the aim of melt steel. The objectives of this presentation are the ones listed in this slide. Distinguish the different operations in the EAF process, identify the main components of the EAF and outline the mechanical and electrical equipment of the EAF. The first phase is the charging phase. The furnace is charged with recycled steel scrap using a scrap basket that has been loaded at the scrap yard. The roof is closed and three graphite electrodes are lowered towards the scrap. The electrical power is switched on. As the scrap is melted, more volume is made available inside the furnace and at a certain point power is switched off the furnace roof is open and another scrap basket will be loaded into the furnace. The power is again switched on and melting of the second basket starts. Then we have the melting phase in which the electrodes are moved downwards as the scrap is melted and caves into the scrap. As the scrap melts, a liquid steel pool starts to form at the bottom of the furnace. Then we have the uh, phase of the additions, uh, in which uh, when all scrap baskets, usually two or three, have been melted, the heating continues for some time in order to superheat the steel to the target temperature attacking. During this period, usually referred to as the refining period, some metallurgical operations such as the sulfurization, the phosphorization, and decarburizing and decarburization may be performed. Then we have the slagging phase uh, in which slagging operations are carried out to remove impurities from the furnace. The furnace steel and slag is pulled out. And finally we have the phase of tapping. When the steel has obtained the correct temperature and composition, the furnace power is switched off and the furnace is tapped. Here we can see uh, all the EAF components in a lateral view and in a plant view, but uh, we uh, consider the main components of the electric arc furnace that are lamps, electrodes, roof and the furnace shell. For the lens, the task of the lens is to take chemical sampling and temperature sampling. For the electrodes, when the electrical power is switched on, an electric arc takes place between the three graphite electrodes and the solid feedstock. The resulting heat, heat melts the scrap and the liquid steel pool starts to form at the bottom of the furnace, as we have uh, already seen. For the roof, on the upper side walls and on the inside of the roof, water cooled elements are used instead of ceramic insulation. These water cooled panels are positioned so there will be no direct contact with the liquid steel. And finally, the furnace shell, the basic setup of uh, an electric car furnace, consists of a furnace shell with a roof on top. The furnace shell is lined with ceramic bricks insulating the furnace from the liquid steel. For the electrical equipment, the electrical power system consists of a primary and a secondary side. The primary side is the high voltage side feeding the steel mill furnace from the plant substation with voltage of 25, 50 uh, kilovolt, it enters a furnace transformer where the voltage is decreased to a level suitable for the furnace operation conditions, normally between 400 to 1000 volt, and this is the secondary side. 
in the following image it shows a schematic diagram of the electro connection. In the case of alternating current, three phases are used and three electrodes will be needed. Each of the three phases is connected to one of the graphite electrodes. The graphite electrodes play an important role since they carry the electrical power into the furnace. The graphite material is uh, used because it withstands uh, high temperature and is a good electrical conductor. When the electrode is near the scrap, an heart is created and uh, an electric circuit is formed. This arc provides the heat energy needed to melt the scrap. And finally, the operating, operating and uh, EAF requires careful monitoring of the furnace electrical parameters at all times. By adjusting the tap setting, the electrical characteristics may be altered in order to fit the present operating condition. The secondary voltage is directly proportional to the heart length inside the furnace and the uh, electrode have an upper limit in maximum current flow which in practice leaves the secondary voltage as the main regulating parameter when changing tap setting. And with this I conclude this presentation and thank you for your attention.